My name's Kieran, I'm Technical Manager at BioVest Laboratories and I also manage our cell culture labs. BioVest is the largest veterinary medicines directorate licensed stem cell centre in the UK. We've been culturing mesenchymal stem cells since 2005 and have been involved in the treatment of over 1,700 cases. The service was initially developed to treat competitive sports horses, predominantly tendon and ligament injuries. In the preceding years, this has expanded to include companion animals and we now treat a large number of dogs specifically for osteoarthritis. The process begins with the veterinary surgeon collecting the sample. In horses this is almost exclusively bone marrow and the sample can be collected from the tuber coxae or the sternum. This is done under standing sedation so there's no need for general anaesthetic. In companion animals, we can take bone marrow samples as well, but generally we're seeing adipose samples as a preferred source, as it's more easily accessed in some small breeds. BioVest provide temperature control boxes, which we would encourage everyone to use as it maintains sample integrity throughout the process. So once the bone marrow has been collected in heparin and sodium citrate, these have to be put in the box in a specific way. The first food ask is a chilled frozen pack which is chilled to at least minus 18 degrees placed in, on top of which a chilled cool pack which is chilled to plus 4 degrees. There's some polystyrene to ensure that the package remains stable in transit. There's then a foam insert into which the samples will be placed. This is placed firmly in the box and then the two heparinized samples two samples in sodium citrate. The submitting vet can then complete the submission form including all the details, specifically the signature. This is then included also. The box is closed and can be dispatched by Royal Mail or Courier to arrive at BioVest the next day. Samples arrive at BioVest in the temperature control box and will be immediately processed by a member of the cell culture team. Samples will generally be two 10 millilitres of bone marrow, which will then be processed so that we can extract the fraction which includes the mesenchymal stem cells. We also have bone marrow and sodium citrate from which a liquid fraction will be used as a carrier for the cells so that the whole process remains autologous. Where adipose tissue arrives, this is treated in a slightly different way, but ultimately all cells will be put in the incubator incubated for 7-10 to 10 days after which they'll be expanded in culture until the requisite number of cells is reached to be sent for reimplantation. Before the cells are returned to the vet to be reimplanted, we perform a number of tests to assay for sterility, viability and that the correct number of cells are present. The cells will then be packaged in a temperature control box and dispatched for use within two days. These systems assure the best possible product will be sent out to the vet with the best possible chance of them being therapeutically useful. When cells have been cultured to the required number for reimplantation, BioVest will often further culture these cells in order to cryopreserve them for future use. In dogs this is standard. For each case, two vials will be cryopreserved in liquid nitrogen and can be used at a future date without the need for any further resampling. This can also be done in horses on request. Results vary from animal to animal, but there is now published data to show that the re-injury rate in horses is reduced and return to full work can be speeded. In dogs, we've had very good feedback from both vets and owners, and dogs which had very limited mobility have shown a good increase in short and long-term movement within a very short space of time after implantation. BioVest work in partnership with Nupsala Veterinary Services who provide training, support and advice on all orthopaedic services. To find out more you can click on the link below. Vets can also obtain aspiration kits and any further details from BioVest by going to the BioVest website.